Hey, what's up YouTube? TMZ1313 here. Today I am finally installing another breaker to go to my bus bar. So this breaker is going to be dedicated to this bus bar right here. All power is off, the power to my solar panel is off, and the power to the charge controller is off. So we have no power going anywhere. Also, I have power off to this fuse, um, this breaker right here. Now this breaker is very old, it's very cheap. Maybe five, ten bucks on Amazon. It's a 40 amp breaker. Um, it's been causing me some problems lately, if you've seen it in my last videos. Um, so what I'm going to do here is install this nice midnight solar um, breaker. Um, so I do have a DIN rail mounted um, breaker box. It's a, a baby big box, it's called. And I'm going to um, mount it. And have everything up on here. Get rid of this breaker. So I'm going to take this off. Rewire it. I think I should have enough wire. To um, go everything the way it's supposed to be. So I'm just going to uh, make a quick video. Hopefully it's not too long. But it might be a 10-15 minute video. So I'm going to try to do this real quick. Alright guys. Um, first thing I want to do. Is disconnect it. Now I am being careful, whenever you're working with DC power, know that you can get electrocuted if you are not careful enough. So keep that in mind guys. Uh, I, I normally don't show caution in my videos. I normally um, know it beforehand and I don't really talk about it. But I do want to say that you guys need to take caution in working with this stuff because uh, it can be very dangerous. And you do not want to damage any system or yourself. So with that being said, um, just take precaution whenever you're working with this stuff, guys. It, it is dangerous. Um, you can hurt yourself badly. You could cause a fire. You could damage your system. So know beforehand what you're doing before you mess with this, all right? I get a lot of crap about you guys talking about how my system's uh, together, but I am very educated, and uh, uh, I wouldn't say educated. I do know a lot about electronics, and um, I do know the precautions I got to take. I don't, like I said, I normally don't mention it, but do have precautions here so I'm just being very careful I'm working with metal I'm not gonna touch any terminals or anything like that because that's dangerous uh, I don't want to short out the batteries I, uh, potential to cause harm to me the batteries the system itself like I said now this is one of the first things I put in so everything's built around it basically uh, wires are fished in front of it and stuff like that so All right, so here, here is uh, the wire. I'm just going to take this off. Now, it is uh, in the teens or maybe less uh, in here. Well, I, I've, I do have the heat on somewhat, so that helps. But... Uh, I'm just trying to find the right Allen wrench to fit this so I could take this screw off. Let's see if I can find it. Alright, here we go. Alright, so there's one wire. I'm going to put this back on, tighten this up. I will save this um, breaker. Just for random things, um, but I will not use it on my solar panel system to rely on it. Uh, I don't think it's reliable, and I don't want to damage my system, so that's why I'm taking this out. I trust in Midnight Solar and their breakers. I am very pleased with all their breakers. They're fairly cheap. I got this one off of Amazon for uh, 20 bucks, I think it was. 
so it wasn't expensive at all. The baby big box, a fuse box that those breakers are in, are actually cost. I think it cost thirty bucks, so it was actually more expensive than the breakers itself. Um, so here's the fuse. Uh, like I said, it's a cheap breaker. It's been causing me a lot of problems. Um, so. Alright, so I got this wire and this wire. Now what I'm going to do here. Let's see if I could do this easily. Test fit it, make sure it fits in there good. Alright, it does fit in there. It takes a Phillips. So, I'm going to mount this. There we go. Nice and pretty. Turn it off. Now I did cut out the little two more spots. So I got enough for one more breaker. Which I will have for my inverter. Once I get a, a, a decent size inverter. Right now I have a pretty cheap one. So what I'm going to do here is fish this through. Tighten it down. All right, it's nice and snug. It's on there very well. I'll give it a little bit more. Don't want to tighten it too much, but definitely want to make sure it's on there. Make sure that my wire reaches, which, oh, we're so close, but yet so far. All right. I got two options. I can move the breaker box up, or I can move my batteries, um, or a different wire, which I'm not going to do a different wire. I don't have all the right terminals and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, let's see, this wire is pretty stiff. It's so close. So what I'm going to do here is move the batteries if I can. Uh, this might be a bigger deal than I think it is, but we're going to try anyways. These batteries have not been moved from their spot since I first put them in there. That was fairly simple. I don't want to bring it too much. Ah, man, these batteries are heavy though. That's for sure. This should definitely be enough room. Let me make sure. Alright, that's enough. It's barely enough, but it's enough. Um, I am unorganized because I could not find the nut that I need. Here we go. So that's barely enough room. Um, there is wiggle room in there, so it's not really rubbing against it. There's no vibrations. So I don't have to worry about vibrations. I'm going to torque this down. Luckily, I know my other wire should work. Perfect. Right, I'm going to try to hurry this up because I don't want to make the video too long. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all my new subscribers. You guys have been awesome. You guys have been very active on my channel. I really appreciate it. Uh... It's awesome to see all the um, followers that I have and uh, people that always comment on my videos. I just love it. I love uh, making these YouTube videos. I don't really do it for money or anything like that. I do it 
just because I like. Sorry about that. Just be, just because I like doing videos, you know. Not every day do people want to listen to me talk about my solar panels, unfortunately. Um, and you guys do, so uh, this is my way to talk about my solar panel system and, uh, you know, all my hobbies and uh, things I like to do. And uh, I just enjoy making videos like this, so I appreciate it, guys, for all the love and support and comments. Um... Now, like I said, this, uh, oh, we got 10 minutes. All right, we're in there. I got to make this quick, guys. Um, I'm just going to hook it up real quick. Uh, this wire is so stiff because it's so cold out. It is really stiff and cold. So what I'm going to do is put this back on there real quick. We're going to do a test run, and then I'm going to end the video and finish up. Um, just so I don't hit that 15 minute mark. We will test it and make sure everything works. Alright, it's nice and snug. Let's do a check on, make sure everything's correct. So I got this going down. These are polarity. Uh, you got to have it on the right polarity. Um, so these are. I'm going in from the plus to the negative. So we're good there. We got it on my positive here. Um, negative bus bars hooked up. Alright, so let's, uh, let's turn everything back on and see if we're up and running. Um. So first will be the batteries. Um, first out of the batteries. Always the batteries first on solar char uh, solar panel systems. All right, so those sound a little rough, my fans, but it's only because it's cold. So everything is good. I got good uh, voltage. We are gonna turn on. My solar panels. These things run constantly, so they sound really bad. All right, we are getting voltage coming in. Uh, we got 30 volts. Uh, running pretty low amps right now. Um, I'm sure that'll go back up. Uh, it might be cloudy outside also. So now we're going to turn on the lights, or all the DC power and stuff, and we do have lights. Let me turn on my inverter, I should hear my heater kick on. That is good. So we are all golden, that's how, uh, that's how I turned, uh, got my uh, nice breaker on there. Everything's good. Uh, thanks guys for watching subscribe like this video if you got any questions or anything like that Let me know all right I'm always willing to answer questions uh, Stuff like that. I just love talking about this. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys later